Hey, this is Doc Malta, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. We are still on Paper 1 GCE of 2022. And so now, this is question 7, and uh, it falls under number sequences. So now, here we have this problem which says, for the sequence 5, 12, 19, find the 6th term and the 8th term. In most cases, they state the kind of a progression that you're dealing with. But in this case, they haven't. So we don't know which of the equations we have to use for us to determine the 6th term. So we need to figure out the kind of a progression that we're dealing with. Is it geometric progression? Is it arithmetic progression? So for an arithmetic progression, the terms of the sequence are determined by adding the common constant value or by simply subtracting the common constant value. So in this case, since the numbers are increasing, obviously, if it's an arithmetic progression, they were adding a, a common constant value, which is called, which is actually denoted by D. So now for you to determine D, you say T2 minus T1. If this is a geometric progression, if it's a geometric progression, you determine the common constant value, which is the common ratio denoted by R, by dividing the second term, by dividing the first term into the second term. And then you keep on multiplying that same common common constant value by each term for you to determine the next. So we're gonna give it a shot. We see which kind of which kind of a progression that we're dealing with. So in this case, if this will work, then we'll know we're dealing with an arithmetic progression. So T2 in this case is a 12, and T1 is a 5. So 12 minus 5, that's actually a 7. So let's give it a shot. We see if we keep on adding a 7, we're going to find these terms that we have. So 5, 5 plus 7, that's 12. 12 plus 7, that's 19. So from that, we can tell we're dealing with an arithmetic progression. How about this one? We say 12 divided by 5. Uh, so now this can be further be simplified because this is not divisible into a 12. So we'll take it that the common ratio is actually 12 over 5. Now, if we keep on multiplying this by all the terms in that, we, we multiply it by 5, multiply it by 12, are we really going to be finding those terms which are already there? So 5 times 12 over 5. So 5 times 2, that's a 10. Uh, 5 times 1, 5 plus that, that's a 60. Then 5 into 16, that's 5 into 6, that's actually 1, a remainder 1, 5 into 10, that's actually 2. Then if we multiply a 12 by uh, 12 over 5, Are we really going to find 19? So 12 times 12, that's 144 over 5. So now 5 into 14, 5 into 14, that's actually 2. Remainder, remainder uh, 4. Okay. 5 into 44, that's 8. Remainder something. So you see that it has failed to bring out a 19 there. So meaning this is not a geometric progression. It's an arithmetic progression. So now having determined the kind of progression that we're dealing with, we can now re resolve what we've been asked to resolve. So we can indicate here to say that solutions. A, the sixth term, one, two, three, four. So now when determining the nth term of an arithmetic progression, we use the equation nth term is equal to the first term plus the number of terms minus 1 
and the common difference. So we can actually collect data here to say A is equal to N is equal to D is equal to. So A denotes the first term within the sequence. So this one is the first term, so it's equal to 5. Then N, you check out, they say determine the sixth term. So we take it that there are six terms, but what's that, that, that term which is on the sixth position? So we will write six star. Then the common difference is the one that we just resolved here by subtracting the first term from the second term, and it's a cell. After having resolved all these, we can now plug them into the equation. Our interest is to know the sixth position. So what is n? I will write the six, the subsequent six. A is actually a five plus n is six minus one, and then a d is a seven. So the sixth term is equal to five plus six minus one, that's a five times seven. So T6 is equal to five plus five times seven, that's a 35. So T6 is equal to 40. So the sixth term within that sequence is actually 40. Let's move on to the second problem. The same, determine the nth term. So in this case, they haven't mentioned of the position uh, for which we have to determine the value. Okay, so we are going to use the same formula. For this term around, we say Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D. We already know what D is, we already know what A is, but they haven't determined the position of that particular uh, term that we have to resolve. It's more like they're asking us to find or to, to figure out the formula for finding the nth term. So we're going to say nth term is equal to, the first term is actually a 5 plus n will be just the way it is, minus 1, then d is the common difference, which is a sub. So Tn will equal to a 5 plus. We can open the brackets. We can expand the brackets by multiplying this number on the outside by the numbers on the inside. 7 times n, 7n, minus 7 times 1, that's a 7. We can bring the like terms together. So now this 7 and that 5 are like terms. So 7n minus 7 plus 5. So we're going to say Tn is equal to 7n, then negative 7 plus 5. We actually subtract a 5 from a 7, so we're going to have negative 2. So this is actually the nth term. That is 7n minus 2. So <clears throat> that's how we go about this. If you've liked the video, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the, to the channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that anytime I post a video, you happen to be notified. Or anytime I happen to go live, you happen to be notified. Stay blessed.